got a feeling it's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah, right off the bat. Are you ready for some crazy? That's <laughs> crazy. I've been here for a couple of years now and haven't killed a bull. But if I think about it and I dwell on it all year, this anxiety just builds. And by the time I get here, I'm bursting with pressure. Oh God, now we got busted, did we? And I just can't wait to get out there and, and hunt to, uh, to get this thing off my back. And here I am, I'm at the UU bar, still haven't killed a bull. Just take your time. 
bikes. Way to go, Robert. <laughs> I didn't realize he was just right there hung up. I'm all sweaty. Yeah, me too. I'm not as fat as I look. I've got on eight layers of clothes. So you should just smack get rid of them right now. Don't you should say, have just smacked that one and we'd have been done. Don't say I should just smack that one five point. You know what it would have been like <laughs> dealing with y'all for the next four days if I killed a five point right off the bat? <laughs> Everybody in the know in the elk hunting world, they you know they say all the time they're like, how can you go to the UU bar and leave there without a bull? Because it's elk hunting, and I don't care if you do it on a place like the UU bar or if you do it in the middle of you know public land in Colorado or whatever western state for that matter. It's elk hunting, and it's extremely difficult. And there's a bunch of parks up here that uh, that a lot of the bulls we heard this morning they just start feeding their way into those parks and the ruts it just peak right now so they're gonna go all day we're just gonna keep trying to get on bulls and get on bulls and see what happens This is my third year going to the UU bar and it's the same thing every year. Tons and tons of bulls. People ask me all the time, how is it possible that you haven't killed a bull in one of the most target rich environments that exists in the elk hunting world? Actually, I have no idea, but I thought we could have a little fun at my expense showing you all of the encounters from the past few years. This is the expedited version, and I'm not even gonna try and defend myself. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Good, you know, three or four seconds. We had a half a second. Sixty-five yards, but I had to run to get the position. It's just a five, right? He's been up to you on the back. It was a great encounter. Don't get me wrong. It's just. You know, pull on um, this range with these genetics, you just kind of let them grow up. Just kind of let them grow up. Hey, that is the truth. You do have to let them grow up. Problem was, I couldn't get the older ones to cooperate either. Well, it wasn't for the lack of trying, but maybe it was my lack of stealthiness. Whatever. I don't know, but it's a whole lot of fun. And you learn from your mistakes, right? We got as close as we could get. <laughs>
this bull right here is going to be a freaking giant. There's two cows right out here in front of me. You got me happy pinned down. One's feeding. Yep, there we go. Let's work up here on this bull. Way across over there. See that big bull way over there.
go down right there. Just go down right there. Go, go, go. I knew I just double lunged him at 20 yards. I mean, like I smoked him, like I laid him right. I mean, I couldn't have put it in there anymore. Perfect. shot him double right behind the shoulder just maybe a couple inches low but I mean nothing nothing really low I didn't think and uh, I got a complete pass through and I was gonna go try to find my broadhead and he, he went over there it's been a half hour I just watched him barely walk into the woods I, I'm just like completely beside myself shocked right now so I don't I got hair. Dude, I know that's him laying right there. Finally. Wow. Look at that. That's awesome. Just a really nice six point New Mexico bull. Awesome stuff. As many bulls there are, and everybody's like, oh, it's, you know, you can kill a bull there with your eyes closed, whatever. It's elk hunting and it's hard. And I've got it done. Thanks again, you buddy. I appreciate it. I enjoyed it, Brian. All right. I say this all the time elk hunting is hard. It's been one of the most humbling, challenging, and at the same time, rewarding things I have ever done. I wouldn't change a thing in three years of hunting at the UU bar because while I may have only killed one bull, the place has given me a wealth of knowledge and appreciation for the animal that I love to hunt. So that's it. Everyone can stop making fun of the fact that I haven't killed a bull at the UU bar because now I have. Hey, I want you to go to rmef.org and learn how you can help us protect and enhance habitat for all wildlife, not just elk. And until next time, remember that no matter what anyone may tell you, the truth is that hunting is conservation. <laughs>